Hello, welcome back everybody. My name's Christy. Today's video is going to be a Sam's Club haul. This Sam's Club haul is going to include items that are low carb, keto, and diabetic friendly, but not everyone in my household is on a low carb diet. So I'm going to include the rest of the stuff that we picked up this time as well. Just a heads up, there are going to be items in today's Sam's Club haul that are going to have carbs probably lots and lots of carbs and some added sugars. But I did find tons of new items and we're gonna go over those. So if this is your first time tuning in and you've not subscribed yet, make sure you go ahead and do that. Hit the notification bell, follow me over on Instagram, and I have a Facebook group called All Things Keto with Christy. It will be linked down in that description box along with my TikTok account if you'd like to go over there. Don't forget though, while you're down in that description box, you're gonna find lots of discount codes and ways to save money on some of your favorite keto items. And if there's any deals, especially right now around the first of the month, then I'm going to have those linked down there for you and they'll be at the very top. Wanted to remind everyone that Perfect Keto is still having their New Year's sale. So if you buy three or more products, you're going to be able to save 25% off right now. This is only going to be good until January 7th. Go stock up on that collagen and MCT oil powder, electrolytes, and keto-friendly treats. I'll have it all linked in the description box for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's Sam's Club haul. I'm going to start out with the keto, low carb, and diabetic friendly items that I picked up. They did have several new items. The new trail low carb keto nut granola. This is going to have three net carbs per serving and the flavor on this, birthday cake. 22 ounce bag, four grams of protein, zero added sugar, gluten-free, grain-free. This is a limited time product, so they're only gonna have it probably this month, and it was around $12. Let's flip it over real quick and look at the back. So they do break it down on the back, how they come up with the net carbs. So total carbs minus dietary fiber minus sugar alcohols give you the net carbs, and this one is going to be three grams. The serving size is gonna be one third cup, with 160 calories, 14 fat, and four protein. Now, total carbs, like we said, gonna be 10 on this one. And right there is what your ingredients look like. They have sugar-free sprinkles. I vote we go ahead and open this up and take a look inside. Check out those sprinkles. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells absolutely amazing. I see hazelnuts, coconut, pumpkin seeds, pecans, almonds. There's a lot going on in here. As far as sweeteners go, it's saying that there is erythritol in this. There's stevia extract as well as monk fruit. So Chris is gonna be our taste tester and sampler. I want you to smell of that first. I smell coconut. <laughs> it smells like birthday cake. It, it does. does have a very strong birthday cake scent, which smells, like I said, delicious. Okay, go ahead and get a big chunk of it and try it. Give us your thoughts. It's crunchy. Yeah, well, yeah, it's crunchy. I can hear it. First thing that hits you. Coconut. The erythritol. Oh, it's got a cold. Mm, okay, so it does have a cold hit to it. So if you're opposed to erythritol, then you may want to reconsider. I think that's going to be the main sweetener in this because it was at the top. That's delicious. That tastes really good. And good it, for a little snack. It's a limited time thing too. So it's not something they're going to have. I don't even know if this is something that you can get on the website. I know that New Trail, we've had their products before, but I don't think I've seen them over at Sam's. What would you give it? A nine. You give it a nine. It's that I do. good. It's would, really good. Would you buy it again? I would. Okay. Thanks. Welcome. Another new item at my Sam's this month is the Alani New Energy. So these are going to be drinks. There are 18 in here. Flavor-wise, you have Cherry Slush, Breeze Berry, and Cosmic Stardust. Loving the names on these. 
Now, there's no sugar added on this. There is going to be some caffeine. It says 200 milligrams of caffeine. I'm not going to lie. These were expensive. For 18, they were $34.98, but I'm dying to try the cherry slush. I'm impressed with the ingredients. What I'm not impressed with is the carb count. So on the cherry slush, this one has three total carbs, one sugar alcohol, but there's no added sugar. Cherry is the one I plan on drinking. I'll give Chris the other ones. These are more of a low carb drink, I guess. You've got breezeberry that's gonna be five total carbs with one sugar alcohol. I don't know, these just have me guessing. And then you have the Cosmic Stardust, which is gonna be four total carbs and one sugar alcohol. There's the ingredient list and nothing is, like I said, standing out. We're talking erythritol, sucralose, it is saying that there's vegetable juice in here, but only for color. Definitely a special purchase, probably not something that I would pick up again, but I wanted to give it a shot and I'm gonna see if there is any type of effect that this is gonna have on my blood glucose. Okay, well, let's go right over here to the sauces. Now, my store normally has the Rayos. This time they had the Lucini Organic Roasted Garlic, no sugar added. These were only $9. Now, I normally pick mine up at Walmart, and for just one, I pay $6, pretty close to $6. I think it's like $5.98. Made in Italy, 25.5 ounce jars. Ingredient list is clean. There's no added inflammatories. This is going to be made with extra virgin olive oil. Great macros. It is going to be total six and you've got two dietary fibers, so one half cup is gonna be four net carbs. I have a feeling I should have picked up more than just one. Recently, they have had a ton of different flavors of the Max Pork Rinds. This trip alone, there were three different ones. Chris picked up this one. It is gonna be the Spicy Nacho Cheese. Be warned, there is maltodextrin in this. In case you don't know, maltodextrin is gonna be higher on the glycemic index than sugar. They are gluten-free. They're gonna be an 18 ounce bag. Let me flip this over and show you the ingredients real quick. It is very, very long. If you're doing low carb, then you're probably gonna be fine with this because your total carb on this is gonna be less than one. But if you're diabetic or if you are trying to stay away from maltodextrin, things like that, this may not be the one for you. Now you can get the original. They have those at my store and those have nothing added in them except for pork skins and salt. But if you're doing dirty keto, if you are doing lazy keto, if you're just doing low carb, then you might wanna check these out Chris is really excited to try them. $5.32. Found a new seasoning since I'm cooking at home uh, pretty much every single meal. I've been stocking up on my spices, on my flavorings. This one is going to be the red garlic. It says crushed red jalapeno and garlic. This thing is massive. We have bought several seasonings at Sam's from this brand. Every single one that I've picked up in the past, none of them have had any sugar added, no maltodextrin, no dextrose, no cane sugar, nothing like that. So this one didn't either. They had a few others to choose from. They were out of the taco. So I'm wondering if the taco blend is also clean. I'm gonna check next time we go back. If they have it, I'll probably pick it up. This one was $4.98. I needed to pick up some vanilla extract because I messed up last time I went to Walmart and I got some that had sugar in it. This is the one I got. It was the Watkins Baking Vanilla and for some reason I just assumed that there would not be any sugar added into this. I was wrong. This is a massive container. It's what? Eight fluid ounces full of sugar. So I'm not gonna be using this when I bake for myself. I'll be using the Magnolia Star because I did read the label on this one. So this is also eight fluid ounces made with Madagascar bourbon vanilla bean, non-GMO and gluten-free. And just so you know, it's also sugar-free. <laughs> Ingredients on this site, vanilla bean and water along with alcohol. 
This was just under $13. Vanilla extract has skyrocketed in price along with just about everything else here recently. Surprise item of the day was the Philadelphia cream cheese. Now my store has not had Philadelphia cream cheese in months. I usually have to pick it up at Walmart if they have it, but they had in the four packs of cream cheese. They were around $5. I went ahead and picked up three of those. I don't know about you guys, but I can't be having a cream cheese shortage. I go through a lot of this a week. And I personally prefer the Philadelphia cream cheese over the others because when it comes to carb count, this one is gonna have less than the store brands. The Philadelphia cream cheese has less than one gram of total carbs per serving. So like I said, stocked up, went ahead and got three packages. Staple in my house is the Duke's Shorty Sausages. These are a three pack, they run around $10. When you open this larger pack up, you're gonna find that there are the three individual packs in here, not like individual serving packets. These are pretty large packets. They are gonna have some sugar added into them. When it comes to like bacon, sausages, jerky, the majority of the ones that you're going to find are going to have that because they do use sugars and things like that in the curing process. Now there are healthier options that do not have any sugar in them on the market, but there aren't any at my Sam's. I stay stocked up in these because they have been running out of them a lot lately. I actually have two in my pantry, so I went ahead and picked up another one. They are going to be gluten-free. If you've not tried them, you need to. They're delicious. Great snack. And right there's the carb count on them. So for two of the shorty sausages, it's going to be less than one gram of carb. Also picked up a rotisserie chicken. It's hard to not go to Sam's or Costco and walk out with, you know, a rotisserie chicken chicken in your hand or under your arm because they are so cheap. At my store, this was $4.98. This will be dinner tonight. Also picked up the Members Mark Premium Chicken Breast. These are six cans of chicken breast. Nothing added except for chicken and water. My store has a tendency to run out of these as well, so I have an entire package just like this in the pantry, but went ahead and got another one because I like to make chicken salad with this. And if you have not tried the air fryer chicken nuggets, keto friendly, sugar free, what, like three ingredients you need to, I'm going to link it for you. You are going to love those. The chicken at my store is running around $11.78 right now. Got some of my favorite Blue Diamond almond flour. I have tried probably every single almond flour on the market. This is my favorite because it's not gritty, it's not grainy, I have texture issues, it's not chalky. So if you are having issues with grittiness or graininess and you just don't like that, you gotta try the Blue Diamond Almond Flour. It's finely sifted. You can also pick this up on Amazon. So if you don't have a Sam's or if you don't have a Costco near you, I will have this linked below too. This is one of my go-to keto items. It is a keto staple that I can't be out of and it's one that I always keep going back to. My Sam's has this for about $13. Natural pecan halves. We just finished up the last of our pecans last night while watching the Avengers. I'm going back through and watching the entire thing in timeline order. My go-to snack lately has been pecans because cashews have not been my friend. Macadamia nuts are not my friend but the pecans don't seem to be spiking me. Now you won't have the same problem that I do unless you are a type one diabetic. I don't wanna take a small snack and have to take insulin with it. Pecans are doing me good. I'm not having to do that. So this is the two pound bag. Nothing is added to this. It's just pecan halves. In case you're wondering, one ounce, which is about one fourth cup of pecans, is gonna be four total carbs, three dietary fiber, so only one net carb. Now these are the ones that you're gonna find in the baking section because if you go down the snack section, those are gonna be loaded with other ingredients. Salmon is also being good to me lately and Sam's has my favorite. This one is the Members Mark Atlantic Salmon. We went ahead and picked up two bags of this. It's the 40 ounce packages. 
they aren't cheap. It's about 22 bucks per package on them, but these are going to be the skinless, boneless, center cut, and they're vacuum sealed and individually wrapped. Oddly enough, this is another one of those items that has not been making my blood sugar spikes. So like I said, went ahead and got two packages of those. Hopefully that'll get us through the month. And right there's your ingredients. You can see it is nothing but salmon. So all I will do is put this in some foil. I will add in some olive oil on top of that. And I'll also do some seasonings, red lobster seafood seasoning, something like that. And then I'll just cook it in the oven. You can also cook your salmon in the air fryer if you want to. Chris wanted some of the members mark buffalo style chicken breast. This is the 22 ounce resealable package. My store runs $7.98. He also likes the peppered turkey. I'm not a really big fan of meats like this unless it's the boar's head. And unfortunately, Sam's doesn't carry that. Case of Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. I never thought I would be a Coke person, but since they've come out with the Zero Sugar, I like it better than Pepsi. There are 35 cans here. They're $12.98. And every single time I go to Sam's, if they've got it, I go ahead and pick up one because my Walmart does not have them. Now for the non-keto. First one is going to be a case of just regular Coca-Cola. This is the 35 cans and they're also $12.98 at my Sam's. Since I was there and didn't want to stop anywhere else, went ahead and got a gallon of the Members Mark 2% reduced fat milk. Preston and Briley drink this. It was $3.58. A 12 pack of the microwave Velveeta shells and cheese. Briley eats this and so do her friends when they come over. You can put this in the microwave with just a little bit of water for three and a half minutes. And then they're gonna have some macaroni and cheese. This was $8.98. Side note, I couldn't tell you the last time I had macaroni and cheese. The absolute biggest bag of Doritos I have ever seen in my entire life. They're $3.98 each. Probably went ahead and picked up one of the Cool Ranch and also one of the Nacho Cheese. Again, this is something that her and her friends like to snack on. The six pack, the three ham, and the three turkey. This is something that you cannot find in any of the grocery stores near me. So the fact that Sam's had them, I went ahead and picked up this one. They were $7.48 carb overload they have the massive packages of crayons pillsbury biscuits and the sister schubert's dinner rolls if i went to walmart i could only get the 20 pack of each of these and they're about the same price this again is something that we like to have on hand during the holidays if anybody's coming over and going to be eating with us i know not everybody is going to do keto and low carb thankfully they are in resealable packages with the Pillsbury Grand Biscuits, you get 38 of those. And the Sister Schubert's Rolls, you get 40. The rolls are $7.48. The biscuits are $6.48. This is something that my mom asked me to pick up. Members Mark Loaded Baked Potato Soup. There are two containers of soup in this, and they're $6.88. 20 pouch value pack of the Edmonds Little Bites. These are little individual packages that have four chocolate chip muffins in them. They're around $9.50 at my store and Briley likes to have these to pack in her lunch. Last two items are not food related. We ran out of trash bags. I have no idea how that happened. We like to buy them in bulk. There's 200 in here, the tall kitchen trash bags. This is gonna be the 13 gallon. Hopefully this will get us through the next couple of months. $18.48. And it even says this has a fresh clean scent and it neutralizes odors. Now this is something I've never picked up at Sam's or anywhere for that matter. This is the Members Mark Pain Meds. So think Tylenol but this is for arthritis pain. I've been having some issues with my hands and joints lately. I don't have another doctor's appointment until February 1st, so I'll get more answers then, but a lot of you had recommended in a previous video to try this. So I went ahead and picked it up. You get two bottles of this, and it says it is comparable to the Tylenol 8-Hour Arthritis Pain Medicine. This is going to be $14.98. 
And all together, it says there are 400 caplets here, 650 milligrams each, and they are the extended relief. Okay, that is everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly that we picked up at Sam's for the month of January. Let me know, did you guys find anything new at Sam's this month or are you not a Sam's person? Are you a Costco person? Because the nearest Costco to us is an hour and a half drive. Now we do try to go quite often, so make sure if you're not already subscribed and following that you do that. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have an amazing 2022. Bye.